Hey guys, Sergeant Akuma back again. We're still talking about the Junior NTO promotion packet for the Army Reserve. The previous video we talked about number one, which is the promotion packet composition election sheet. This time we're going to talk about number two, which is DD Form 3355, pretty much your promotion point worksheet. This is what it looks like. As you notice, it states Army Reserve, so it's just a form used by the Reserve. And uh, let's get into it. You start off by filling out your name, your date of birth, today's date, or the day you're filling out the form, your organization. Keep in mind, recommended grade is going to be the next higher grade. So if you're a specialist, you're getting recommended for sergeant. So your next, your, the grade you write there is going to be E5. Type is going to be initial. If this is your first packet before the board of that grade. So... I'm a sergeant, if I'm putting in a, a packet, it's going to be for an initial park packet for a staff sergeant position. If, for whatever reason, you've submitted a packet before, but you've improved significantly up to 20 promotion points or more, then you could have a total re-eval. Let's say the first time you submitted your packet, you got a 180 in your PT test, but this time you got a 270, that's a big jump. Let's say you shot a 23, the previous weapon score, and you have a 32. That's also a big jump. Anyway, so you put your, your recommended grade, your recommended MOS. Now let's move on to Section A. Section A is your military training, which includes your APFT and your weapon score. You put the date for your APFT. And um, yeah, so although it says raw scores, you put in the percentage points. I'll show you why. So let's say you get 100, you max out your push-ups, you max out your sit-ups. Um, if you try to put, let's say you run a 1,400, uh, it won't let you put 1,400 there. 1,400, it won't let you put that there. So you have to put the percentage point. Just keep that in mind, otherwise it won't give you a correct number. So, we've done that. Weapons call, you put the dates, you put the form, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the form is DA form uh, 3595. Yeah, I said it. So let's say you shot 32 out of 40 in your last weapons call. That's, so to get the points earned, you would have to refer to AR 600-8-19, which is the Enlisted Promotion and Reduction Regulation. This is it here. And... Chapter 3, Section 4 covers, well, Chapter 3 covers promotion for junior NCOs, and Section 4 covers the points, promotion point system. So keep in mind that there's a different rating for sergeants, and the one for sergeants is different from the one for staff sergeant. So if you're getting recommended to sergeant, do not use the staff sergeant point system because they're not the same. You cheat yourself of points. Staff sergeants get graded in some aspects and harder curve and harder curve. So you see what I mean in a second. So let's say we said you shot thirty two. So this is the one for sergeant. You scroll down to thirty two. Gives you a hundred points. So bam, you put a hundred points. We're doing it. Let's say we're getting recommended to sergeant. You put a hundred points. So it should be here. Weapons call. Now let's go back and look at the one for staff sergeant. So the same 32, if you're getting recommended for staff sergeant, is going to be 70 points. You see, for staff sergeant. So it's keep that. So keep that in mind. If you're getting promoted to sergeant, but you mistakenly use the table for staff sergeant, you're going to cheat yourself out of points. So staff sergeant shooting the same number 32 is going to get only 70 points. Okay. Now let's scroll down to APFT. Uh, it shows you the max hit. Read the regulation for yourself. That's going to be your best option anyway. So we said you had a 270 in your PT score. A 270 is going to fall somewhere here. A 270 for sergeant, a 275, sorry. It corresponds to 155 points. You come in here, put 155. Now let's see what 270 qualifies for, for a staff sergeant. This is for staff sergeant. A 275 for staff sergeant is going to give you 120 points. So 120 versus 155, that's a big difference. So make sure you're in the right area when it comes to what grading scheme you use. 
Then you scroll down, put your commander's name, date, recommended soldier, that's you, name. Just leave 10 and 11 blank because that's going to be done by the board who's uh, doing the approval. Okay? So in the next video, we're going to continue from there and talk more about filling out the form.